Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight. Check out my little Dalek here. He's looking worse for wear. Speaking of ancient technology, I got these a couple smartphones. I'm gonna try to find what's on them. Samsung Galaxy S5, iPhone 6s. Okay, so a couple of things. For those of you who don't know, I just got, did discover one thing. The Samsung won't connect without a USB 3 cable. Will not do it with a US, just a regular old USB 2 mini USB. It'll charge off of that, but it won't connect with it. Just so you know. It took me a little while to figure that out. Had to find one. I took this one off a, hard, off a portable hard drive. So, we're going to try the Samsung first. Plugging the cable in. Plugging it into a USB port. Okay, what's going to happen is on the screen... It lights up, and we're going to go into the file manager and see if it shows up. And there it is, except it's not there. Well, that's kind of odd because it was. Oh, because you have to pull the menu down. It doesn't even show up as a notification, but you pull the notification screen down, and there's a USB charging options button. You click that, you choose whatever you want. There's file transfer, photo transfer. Install software MIDI and USB media device. I don't know, I'm going to do file transfer. And what it's going to do, it's going to remount itself as an MTP, MTP device, as media or music transfer player. But because of the back, the, G, uh, the, the GNU uh, virtual file system, the, the, the known virtual file system, excuse me, uh, we can access what's on the player, uh, anything we want. So I've got my... My music, I don't have any music on this phone, but I've got some podcasts in Dogcatcher. Uh, I don't know, they're stored on here someplace. Uh, but, I, oh, media, maybe. Well, there's certainly some media in there. So anyway, anyway, you can, you can, you can, uh, you can browse the file system. Pictures, I got my photos in here. There's some pictures in there. Let's see, where is the photos folder? DCIM. Here we go. All the photos are there. Okay. Uh, you can also open it. I tested earlier. You can actually open this up in Clementine. You can t open the player in Clementine. And if it's and again, you don't once you set the thing once. Oh, okay, it's, it's running the toolbar. There we go. You can see that it's connected. You'll open it. This is the first time you connected. It's actually not, um, but for some reason it didn't pick it up the first time. I may have been mounted in a different mode. Anyway, hit connect device. And it will scan the phone looking for whatever media files are there. I get another prompt on the screen saying something wants to connect as an MTP device. I say allow on the screen. And there's the music. Well, that's not music. That's music. That's a podcast. That's Destination Linux. That's some NPR stuff. There's This Week in Tech. So you get the idea. You can use Clementine for that. Uh, all right, I'm gonna close Clementine. And in the case of the of the Samsung, it actually shows up in the unmounter tool, and you can unmount. So I'm unmounted. So that's the Samsung. It just you can mount it. The, the easiest way is mount it in the file browser. Do whatever you want, at least to the internal memory. Okay. The iPhone. The device with one button. Right there. Okay. So we're going to try with the iPhone. This one uses a lightning connector. Again, it's an iPhone 6S. So it's a little older, but it's not real old. It's basically an iPhone 6 crammed into an iPhone 5's body, I think. At any rate, it does use a lightning connector. So we're going to plug this in. And let me open up the file manager first. I'm going to plug that in, and you can see that it does show up. This is the name of the iPhone, and you got to give it permission. So you check your phone, check your phone, and it's going to give you permission. You say trust, so you can trust the computer. And you click on this, <sighs> and why do you ever expect anything from Apple to work uh, with Linux? Okay, fine, it doesn't work. Okay, maybe an older iPhone would, but this one doesn't. 
So, dragging the file, I actually, I'll save you the trouble. I tried it with Clementine as well. It does not work with Clementine. Um, but, but, if you just want to get your photos off, you can use Shotwell. There's the photos from her phone. And you can import those. You can use Shotwell to import the photos. As far as I can tell, that's your connectivity options for the iPhone and MX-16. And the Samsung pretty much has full connectivity with MX-16. Um, as long as you have the, uh, uh, and probably any Linux that has the GVFS uh, backends installed. Okay, that's it. Short video. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forms.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.